What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 4 Pixel Remaster for the PC. And in this episode, it's time for Yang to shine. So this dungeon's pretty much anti Cecil. And anti Sid as well. Because in this dungeon you cannot equip any metal armor or weapons. So Yang is completely unaffected by any of this. I think I do have to unequip the silver armor though. Maybe, I'm not sure. You know, let's give him a ruby ring. I know ruby rings aren't affected by it. Anyway, first things first, we gotta head to the... I guess I didn't need to unequip the stuff now, but... Too late. Let's see, do... Focus... Take out the Hell Needle without it counterattacking. And we'll continue on to the forest. Uh, the only way to get to this particular dungeon is to use the Black Chocobo. And apparently there's three items here. Uh, you can call the Fat Chocobo. Uh, but obviously in this version of the game you don't have to because you can hold infinite items. Well... I don't know if you can hold infinite items, but you can hold a lot of items. <laughs> like, you probably hold one of every item in the game, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm trying to find those items in, that are here. Probably a bunch of Gasol greens, if I had to imagine. Where do they put regular chocobos here? When well, I don't see the point in even using a regular chocobo. I don't know where the items are at. It literally says there's three of them though. Not mean to leave the area. Okay, well, I was talking to that Chocobo. See if the Chocobo maybe gives you the items. I don't think that's the case. Oh, maybe over here? Aha! And we got a secret passage! Which I refuse to believe leads nowhere. Is that literally it? It's probably a secret passage on the other side too. Aha! Another Gasol Green. And there it is, right there, the other Gasol, Gasol Green. Alright, let's go ahead and use the Black Chocobo and head to the next dungeon. And this is the first time seeing Black Chocobos in the Final Fantasy games. Um, the first three, or no, actually, Final Fantasy 1 didn't have Chocobos. But Final Fantasy 2. Um, had the standard yellow and so did three uh, but in this game 
Uh, you got the black chocobos, and of course, um, I don't think in five there was any unique chocobos besides just the yellow one. Six either, and then obviously seven. You had all the different. You had a whole bunch of different colored chocobos. All right. So no metallic items in this area. Uh, you could give Cecil a bow. I'm assuming a bow is not considered metallic. So I guess you could give him a bow. I'm not sure though. But I don't have enough arrows anyway, so I'm not going to do that. Alright, so the magnetic cavern... That magnetic field is powerful. Equipping anything metallic will slow us down. My claws appear to be unaffected. Fear not. We stand invincible with my magic. I absolutely hated this area when I first played this game. Because I couldn't figure out... I, keep in mind I was a lot younger. Um, I couldn't figure out why... I was getting slowed down. Like, I'll show you what happens if you, uh, equip metallic stuff. I'm gonna use rays here. That'll uh, save my, uh, oh, he has full life as well. It's kind of insane. Yeah, Tell's magic is terrible. But yeah, let me equip a sword real quick. Yeah, see, it like, you like get constantly paralyzed. You can't move at all. And when I first played this game, I was obviously a lot younger. I didn't know why this was happening and I was really confused even though it tells you it literally tells you not to equip metallic stuff but for whatever reason my younger brain didn't comprehend that and yeah I was like really lost and confused I eventually figured it out but Oh, it's not very bright. And we got new to me here, Ogre. No Ogre pain, no Ogre gain. This thing will never, these Ogres here will never live up to the legend of Boulder Fist Ogre. There's no stronger ogre than the Boulder Fist Ogre. And everybody knows it. Okay, we gotta go around. Oh yeah, by the way, the Mind Flayer was a new enemy too. Oh, we fought these earlier. Got Cecil over here punching enemies in the face. The Paladin has become a brawler. Okay, got new to me here. K bet. Now you can also cast magic in this area too, but I don't like to waste MP. Yeah, they can like absorb, they can like leech life. Basically copy straight from Pokemon. Or wait a minute. Actually, it'd be Pokemon that copied this, because I'm pretty sure 
uh, red version came out after Final Fantasy IV. Okay, a bunch of Kate. Oh, don't use blaster, please. Can't believe they ambushed us. We've been ambushed, guys. I just find it very ironic that Cecil's just go around punching them in the face. Yeah, and someone said that uh, in the comments uh, that someone they had like Cecil like level forty and like Yang level forty and at this point in the game, or actually before this point in the game, and like the old waterway, they had Yang and Cecil level forty. I believe it because here's the thing: when I was younger, I used to grind not like almost nonstop. You know that battle in Final Fantasy X where you're on the boat. And you're fighting on them sin spawns or sin scales or whatever they are. Um, I literally fought those for like hours. And I did that in a lot of other other games too. I'd always I always liked to grind when I was younger. You know, we got another enemy here, Cave Naga. Let me have tell you the rest of MP to use Kiraja on the party there. So yeah, when someone says they like got like, got like a ridiculous level early on, I believe it. Alright, let's see. So we got... Oh yeah, how many chests are in this area? Ten? Okay. More Mon Flayers. Get out of here. Mon Flayers are pretty weak, at, at least. Unlike the Mon Flayers in Final Fantasy 1. Those things were a nightmare in Final Fantasy 1. If you played Final Fantasy 1, you know what I'm talking about. Like in Final Fantasy 1, they had Mind Blast, which could paralyze your entire party, as well as their physical attack can inflict instant death. Their physical... get this... Put, let that sink in. Their physical attack can inflict instant death. And they were a random encounter, not a boss. So yeah, was, they were a nightmare, let's just say that. But obviously, if you played Bum as you won, you already know that. Ooh, got a primitive strike. All right. You love to see it. Okay, three chests in here. High potion. Spider silk. An hourglass. I wonder why they give you so many spider silks. Well, there's actually a good reason why. Because it's very good. It's a very good item. Like, the spider silks are ridiculous. It says the same effect as slow, but I'm pretty sure it has better potency than slow. I don't quote me on that, though. Like I always say, no, don't quote me on anything actually though. Did not mean to switch rows.
Alright, there we go. Just finish them off. I hate getting back attacked, though. It seems like it happens a lot more in the Pixel Masters. I don't know why. Like, I don't remember, like, barely ever getting counterattacked. Or, barely ever getting back attacked. In the other versions of the game. But for some reason, in this game, it happens a lot. Uh, we got new to me in the back back there, Draco Lady. And we got more bats. I don't want to waste Tell's magic. I know that Mattel is so weak too is because he has like all them powerful spells. <clears throat> so if they didn't make him weak, he would be like stupidly overpowered. Doesn't the Draco Lady call more bats in or something? Something like that. Not really sure. Okay, we get a fairy claw for Yang. A claw that may cause confusion and is effective against giant enemies. So that's pretty good. We are fighting some giants in this area, so... Obviously pretty good. It does have less accuracy, though. So it'll increase the damage against these ogres. Yep. Hey, look at that damage. Okay, so we got chest up there, and that's everything. Um, that's the final chest. That's another primitive strike. I think we encountered all the enemies around here, too. Okay, emergency exit. And then we get ambushed. We got preemptive strike against the same exact battle, too. Oh, Blood, uh, blood Feast uh, inflicts sap on you as well. I didn't know that. It, like, slowly zaps your HP, kind of like in Final Fantasy XII. Except in 12 it was called Sap. It just... This game it doesn't have a name. In Final Fantasy 12 it was called Sap. Let's go over here. What's in this room? Anyway, they made the enemies a lot easier in this area because obviously you have... Um... You don't have your best stuff. So I guess they like balanced it or whatever. But the ogres are actually pretty tough. I, I, I guess the enemies are pretty tough except for the mind flayers. They're really easy. They die in one hit pretty much. Alright, and it's the final room right here. Uh, the crystal room. At this point in the game, you can, uh, in this room, you can go and equip all your metallic stuff again. Which I already did. Hmm. 
Oh, this room's pretty creepy. Look at the change in, like, the floor tiles. It's kind of weird. Is that supposed to happen? Alright, anyways, talk to the... I commend your effort, but your exertion ends here. You will never get the crystal. You cannot defeat me with those weapons. We shall see about that. Let's see how he likes my magic spells. And it's boss time against the Dark Elf. If only I could use my sword. Hope we're dead. Game over, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been a nice playthrough of Final Fantasy IV Pixel or Master. But it is now over. And... Nah, obviously, let's continue. Razor is in trouble, is in danger. They're all in danger. You're in no condition to go anywhere. Where are you going? To get my harp. Ugh. You can barely set up. Sit up. Please. Lie down and get some rest. I don't care what happens to me. I'm the only one who can save them. Save them by playing a harp. The twin harp sounds the melody from Edward's harp. Hmm. That melody. It is Edward. Gah. What is this torturous sound? He cannot control the magnetic field while I am playing. Now draw your sword. Right. You. Gah. And it's boss time. It's the Dark Elf. Alright. Attack. This particular boss is weak to holy. Yeah, and he has magic. Cast all elements on your party in, our, in succession there. Uh, first thing, let's get uh, slow on him. Alright, Tornado will put you in HP critical. Kind of a nightmare ability, I hate that ability. Yeah, Yang will do a lot of damage to the uh, Dark Elf. Let's get haste on Yang there. So we can get more attacks. Yeah, he has Hex as well. You can cure a diet food. Look at the Naga. Yeah, apparently his magic can miss. <laughs> kind of odd. Yeah, it's only element the weakness is holy. Say your prayers. Yeah, it becomes a dark dragon. Let's try osmos. I need to get some MP back. I don't know if it'll work on him or not.
Nope, it does not. I guess I'll have to use an ether. Ooh, it's dark breath. That's nasty. Yeah, let me heal up instead. There we go, got it. Dark Dragon defeated. And for defeating that particular boss, you get 5,000 gil and 6,000 EXP. Very nice. This cannot be with the crystal, my eternal life. Gah. Dark Elf. Gone. Thank you, Edward. Obtained Earth Crystal. All right. Now we can return to Troa. And I'll go ahead and meet you guys in Troa. And I'll be right back. Uh, I would use an emergency exit, but I think I'm just going to run out of here. And fight battles on the way out. So, be right back. I'll meet you guys near Troll Castle. Alright, um... That's what happened there with my recording, but... Yeah, let's get on this black chocobo and we'll head back to Troa uh, uh, Castle. Remember, you can only land in, f in the forest. Can we get these chests yet or do we have to wait until after we talk to the people? Probably gotta wait till we talk to the people, right? Yeah, probably gotta wait. We'll just advance the storyline a little bit. And then we'll be able to... Oh my goodness! The Earth Crystal, you have returned it to us. Hurrah! I see you have the Earth Crystal. That voice. Kane? Board my ship and bring the crystal to with you. I'll take you to Rosa. That voice, what was it? We are letting you borrow the crystal, so no, so be extra careful with it. It seems you need our help. You may borrow the crystal as promised. We just got the crystal back, but I guess we have no choice. It's only a loan, though. Make sure the crystal's power changes depending on the bearer. If it fell into the wrong hands, who knows what could happen. What was that voice? Feel free to take the items in the underground storeroom. What is going on? Alright, let's go to the underground storeroom first. Well, actually, I'm probably going to end the video after we get the items. And I'll head outside in the next episode. This was once a dungeon, but now... There we go, now we can go in here. And we have all the rest of the chest here, there is... 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eighteen chests. Yep. High potion. High potion. Remedy. Ether. Dry ether. Silver apple. Echo herbs. Ice arrow. Fifty thousand gill. Thunder arrow. Five thousand gill. Fire arrow. Great bow. Echo herbs. Elixir. Dry ether. Ether. And a remedy. That's all the chest. And Chor Castle. And you do not get the 50,000 gill in the other versions, versions of the game. Only in this version of the game. I'm not sure why they give you so much money, but... Here we are. Alright guys. That'll be the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.